Pacific Biodiesel is the oldest biodiesel company in America. We had the first commercial biodiesel pump open to the public in the United States. The farm goes along with our whole philosophy of sustainability. We started out that way in Pacific Biodiesel and the farm is an extension of that. Aloha, I'm Kelly King, founder of Pacific Biodiesel with my husband Bob King. We're here on our farm on Maui, 114 acres. Pacific Biodiesel is a renewable fuel company. We make clean burning biodiesel for diesel engines out of used cooking oil. So we're taking a very caustic substance that used to go into the landfill and now we're turning it into a really nice clean burning locally made fuel. The sunflowers that we grow here are part of that whole sustainable model and we make culinary oils out of the sunflowers. That's being sold to the restaurants here. We then take the used cooking oil from the restaurants and make it into biodiesel the restaurants are now part of the whole sustainability loop. All of the equipment on this farm runs on 100% biodiesel. I believe we're the only farm, maybe even in the state of Hawaii, running on 100% renewable energy. It's really important to create biodiversity. We've been monocropping for hundreds of years in the state of Hawaii, and it's really killed a lot of the soil. We've used zero pesticides on this farm. We are actually working towards no-till right now. We, we're, we're doing some tilling because we're working on, on land that was farmed in sugarcane. But the goal is to get to no-till, to do things as healthy as possible. Cover cropping works. We're doing cow peas, but you can use sun hemp, you can use chickpeas. And those are actual crops that if you weren't turning them in, put the nitrogen back into the soil, then you know it grows. If you ever wanted to pivot and go, now we're gonna grow chickpeas, we can put that in and we know it grows and we know how it grows. The market may be there. I think those are the benefits is it helps you be able to diversify so that you're ready for other crops at the time when you may need to pivot. Some of the other practices that we're doing are water conservation. So that's why we got the pivot and we were able to access a United States government program to give us a loan for the pivot. This is a new component for farming on Maui. The amount of water that we can put on this efficiently at a moment's notice has been a game changer for us because before we were pretty much at the mercy of the rain and we would plant sunflowers around the rain. No matter what the size of your farm, these regenerative practices can work for you and actually my personal opinion is they work better on a smaller farm. Thinking of yourself as an entrepreneur, getting involved in the business aspect, connecting with the Women Farmer Network is really important. That's where you're going to find the information that's really pertinent to you that's going to help you get there.